What's going on guys, today I'm gonna show you how to format and clean install Windows 10 on your PC. This will work for most of the Windows OSs, newer or older, so if you are planning to install or reinstall any Windows operating system such as Windows XP 7, 8, 8.1 and 10, you can use this video as a guide. And only follow the instruction, visual or verbal on this video at your own risk, we will not be held responsible for any loss or damage. So let's begin. Step number 1. Download Windows 10. In this step, we're gonna show you how to download the official Windows 10 ISO file to your PC for us to later burn it to a DVD or make a USB DVD with it. If you have the installation media already, you can probably skip the step. Or go to the side, link will be in the video description and download this media creation tool. Once you have done that, open the file and you will see a window like this. Now click on accept, choose create installation media for another PC, click next. Now we'll show you some option to select your preferred language, your system architecture and edition. By default it is checked as the use recommended option for this PC, but what I recommend is uncheck this box and edit the information as you prefer. Because if you are planning to install the windows on another PC, the auto suggestion may not helpful to you because it is only auto detecting the particular machine that you run the tool on to give you that recommendation. So if the destination PC specification are different from this PC specification, you can't get the right version. So let's choose a language, addition of Windows 10 and finally the system architecture. If you are not sure whether your system is a 32-bit or 64-bit based architecture, you can always check that by right clicking on my computer or this PC on the particular computer. Now choose properties from the right click menu and there you'll find your system architecture. You can see my system type is 64-bit operating system and x64 based processor. If yours is the 32-bit based one, you will see 32-bit based operating system and x86 based processor. Once you have found that, came back here and choose the right one. Now click next and choose the option ISO file. The reason why I'm choosing the ISO file over the USB flash drive because of its versatility. If I have an ISO, I can create pretty much any installation media I wish, such as DVD, USB DVD, or even I can save the ISO file for later installation on a new PC. So I don't have to download a new ISO file each time and once it get downloaded, hopefully we will make a USB DVD with it. So hit next and choose the download location, then click save. Now we'll download the Windows 10 ISO file. It will be approximately 2.73 GB if you are downloading the 32-bit version and for the 64-bit version, the size would be much higher, approximately 3.25 GBs. Anyway, let's wait until it's download. As you can see at last it's finished the download, with a 4 Mbps connection it took me about nearly 2 hours, so I suggest you to come back with yours to get a download time estimate if you're interested. Now we are moving to the next phase. Step number 2. Create installation media. As I mentioned earlier with this Windows 10 ISO file, you can make several types of installation media which all contain the exact same copy of Windows. But we are not going to burn this ISO file to a DVD because not every computer has one these days. But we are going to make a USB DVD meaning a flash drive that contain a bootable Windows 10 setup. Because most of the computers have nowadays come with a USB port, so I think it would be the right choice for the time. On the other hand, burning CDs are hard, time consuming, costly compared to making a simple USB DVD with your flash drive. So without further ado, we're gonna make the USB DVD. For that all you're gonna need is a flash drive that had a capacity of up to 8 GB and a software called Rufus, which you can free download from the video description. So I suggest you to go there, download and launch Rufus. Now connect your flash drive and in most cases Rufus will automatically detect your flash drive. If it's not, you can go here and do it manually. Now I suggest you to do not mess up with any of these settings, but you have to do a little something, which is making sure you have selected the right file system type, NTFS. Now go down here and click on this image selection icon. Now browse and locate the Windows 10 ISO file that we have just downloaded. Now click open, then click start. Now we'll ask you something like continuing with this operation will erase the data in your flash drive. Hope you backed up the important files from your flash drive, any. So let's click OK and we'll start the process. It may take a while, so let's give it some time. 
And yes, it just finished the process. Now your flash drive is becoming a USB DVD. So let's install the OS on as much as PCs as you want. So plug it into the computer that you want to install the Windows on and restart or turn off the computer. Now you can see my PCs completely went off. So let's begin the next phase. Step number 3. Choose the boot device in BIOS. So as soon as it powered on again or restarted, when you see your motherboard logo or brand logo, hit the BIOS key on your keyboard. Let me freeze it for a second. For some PCs, the BIOS key would be F12, for some it's delete and for me it's F2. Maybe yours is F2 as well, so I suggest you to find the key first by simply try hitting each one of them while you're booting up or simply google it. And once you hit the BIOS key, you will boot into the BIOS menu aka UEFI BIOS Utility. In BIOS, you can't use your mouse to interact, instead you have to use your keyboard. To navigate through BIOS, use arrow keys. For choosing an option, use Enter. To go back, use Backspace. To quit from BIOS, use Escape. As well as to save and exit, you can use the F10 key. So first you're gonna need to find the boot menu and then find the boot device property or something sounds familiar. For me it's legacy boot, all the BIOS are different from each other depending on their motherboard manufacturer. Now you're seeing the BIOS of a Dell laptop which don't have the option called boot device property but you will see the option if you are using a desktop or some other laptop. So make your first boot device as USB storage device from the boot device property. If you are using a Windows DVD to install, I suggest you to choose DVD drive. And once you have done that, save and exit by pressing F10 key. For most of the PCs, they only need to do this tab, but for some device like this Dell laptop, had an option called boot manager. So we can hit F12 to get to the boot manager from the boot up screen. If you have the boot device property in your BIOS, you can skip this one. Now simply choose USB storage device and it will ask you to press any key to boot from USB. And that's what we are looking for. No matter you have used the BIOS or boot manager, you will see the screen asking you to press any key to boot from USB or DVD. So press some random key on your keyboard and it will boot up the Windows installation setup. So it's time for us to jump to the next phase. Step number 4. Install Windows 10 by formatting your PC. As you can see, we have just booted into the Windows 10 installation setup, so let me walk you through. Before that, make sure you are plugged in and connected to a stable power source, as well as make sure that you have at least 90% battery left on the device. Full shutdown or any power failure while installing the OS will cause your PC malfunctioning. We don't want that to happen, so watch it closely and understand the step before proceeding. On the Windows setup screen, we have to firstly need to choose the language to install, then choose your time and currency format, and finally the keyboard or input method. For me, all the default will be fine, so let's go ahead and hit next. Now click install now and it will start the installation setup. Now it will ask you to enter the product key to activate Windows. If you have one, use it here, or you can do it later in case if you don't have. Now I will show you the Microsoft terms and condition to use their software. So scroll down and check I accept the license terms box. Now click next and from here choose custom install windows only option and it will bring you to the disk partition which will help you to create, split and delete certain local disks. Now for this PC there is already a partition going on it got a 1TB hard drive installed and it's manually split between into two partition which had 150 GB on partition 2 and 781 GB on partition 3 which is approximately 1 TB. And you may notice that there is another partition which had a capacity of only 100 MB which is the partition number 1. For your information, this is not a normal partition like 2 and 3, it is system reserve partition. Meaning it is invisible on the Windows 10 interface, you could not see it in your this PC or my computer, but it's there in the memory invisibly only for the system itself. It uses the balance and allocated space to create system drive and install operating system. So let's continue with the process. I have to give you a few more tips on this to make you an expert on Windows formatting and disk partition. So first of all, I'm gonna show you how to split an already created partition. And please be aware that doing this on a Windows setup will definitely clear any data on the particular partition. So if you have anything there, I suggest you to back it up before doing this. 
Anyway, let's do it. We are going to split this 781 GB partition into two partition, which is holding a capacity of 195 and 595 GBs. So select the partition you want, now came down here to the tools and click on delete. It will delete that particular partition and turn it to unallocated space. So you have to click on the unallocated space which is the same 781 GB and click on new from here. Now edit the disk size for your new partition which we prefer to do as 194 GBs for one. The size shown here is in MB so the 799,999 MB is equal to 791 GB. So we need a 195 GB so I'm gonna type in 200,000. If you have any doubt about the conversion I suggest you to google GB to MB and it will show you an online GB to MB converter. So once you have edited the value of the new partition click upload and it will create the partition. Now you can see it's created a new partition of 195 GB. Now to create a second partition from the leftover unallocated space you have to choose it again and do the same. Click on new, edit the value and this time I'm gonna leave it as it is. Because I want the rest of the unallocated file size into one partition it would be approximately 585 GBs. If you want you can create more partitions with that but I prefer to hold on to a big one rather than creating multiple small partition. It is your personal choice you can customize as the way you want. So whatever it is that's how you can delete, create and split a partition. Now we're gonna quickly delete a partition including the system reserve one to recreate it because this own system reserve partition was created for windows 7 which only needs 100 MP. But for the windows 10 it would be needed much higher at least 500 MP as well as the old one may keep on bugging you when you are booting up like it may false recognize the old OS and it will ask you to choose between the old and new OS's each time even if the old one was completely erased. So delete the system reserve partition with some other main partition and create a new partition with the unallocated space which will automatically create the new system reserve partition and hope that makes sense. Now we are all good to go so choose the partition that you wish to install the windows 10 on. Now hit next and it will install the windows 10 on it. And it will be your C drive or local disk C. As you can see it's installing the windows. It will go through several different steps before it get installed. And your system will get restarted automatically several times while this process is happening. So I want you to do nothing at this point. It may take a while so sit back relax until it does. So we have just finished the windows installation and it took me about 16 minutes. So it's time for us to jump to the final phase. Step number 5. Setting up windows for the first time. As you can see we have just finished installing the windows 10 on this PC and now let's set it up for the first time. It is asking you to enter your product key for the particular edition. If you have one, enter it here. Or you can enter it later by buying one online and we can activate it once we set up everything. So let's do it later. Now we will get to this window which is allows you to edit the settings for your windows. Like you can enable or disable things like speech, typing, inking, location and so on. You can either choose the customize settings option to edit the settings by yourself or use the recommended settings by choosing use express settings option. Now after a few seconds it will ask you to create a username for your PC and if you want you can type in a password as well to protect your PC. Enter a password, type it again and type a password in if you want, click next and that's it. Now after a few minutes of loading screen and some welcome messages it will start your windows desktop. So that's how you can format and clean install Windows 10 on your PC. Thank you so much for watching. As I mentioned you can use this to install or reinstall any other Windows OSs. So keep that in mind. If you like what you just saw leave a thumbs up, wanna watch more subscribe to the channel. This video is requested by one of our loyal subscriber Mr. Sachin Yadav. I personally thank him for such an awesome idea. Your support means a lot to me Sachin, keep it up. As always this is your host Amal Rafi, see you around.